Your armor is insane. You don't lose health. How? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I feel pretty, pretty, pretty fragile against guardians. You mean? Um, yeah, guardians are just bad. Guardians are just silly. Uh, this this objective is going away. Look at that tank. He does more damage than the guardian bosses. This guy does a lot more damage. I just try and not get hit. But yeah, th this objective is disappearing in a few weeks. I haven't. It hasn't been balanced or 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 skill checked or anything for a year. So, like, I'm not even using my my killer abilities here, which I could be doing. It's time. It's time we say goodbye to guardians, isn't it, Dylan? Guys, those of you who've been here for so long, we say good riddance. We sing them the Green Day song. You know what song I'm talking about. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. We sing good riddance to them. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. And then our turning point is that we introduce build a boss. Hey there, guy. I like the season one's monolith bosses more. Yeah, yeah, but those have other issues. So the boss that we have uh, designed that comes out in a few days or a few weeks, sorry, is actually very, very cool. Boogeyman is making a return. Wow, great rendition. Dudes, I, I have something I have something really funny to talk about in regards to my singing. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. So a lot of people like my singing and I I don't I don't I I like to sing. Okay, I like I like to sing for the fun of it. I'm not an aspiring singer. I'd never meant to be. I have a pretty good pitch, but that doesn't mean that I can sing in pitch. I can hear I can hear when something is flat. Anyway, my I have some music background. I can play the guitar. Uh, I can play the accordion. That's my instrument that my dad decided, my real dad decided that this is going to be your instrument, this gal. Uh, very rock and roll to play the accordion <laughs> when I was five. Uh, but anyway, I like to sing, as you guys know. And I sung I sung in a, in a video. I sung to Joel, right? I sung, uh, everybody loves the things you do. And it made it into like a Vodskal video. I don't know how many have seen it. And... Uh, there was this uh, top top rated comment saying, "Wow, I did not know. Why can Iskal sing so well?" Okay. And there was a comment to this comment that made me laugh so hard. It's a, it's a really good comment. The comment said, "Because you guys are as tone deaf as Iskal." But it was like, it was so spot on because honestly, there are a lot of, there are a lot of flaws in that song because it was impromptu, right? I just sang it when I was streaming and playing Minecraft. It's like off key twice, uh, two, uh, two of the things are off key. I, I don't have the register I need to sing that song. So I like fail with hitting high notes. I fail with hitting low notes. I mean, it was a it was a good it was a good attempt, I guess, but it, it was by no means was it great singing. And this is guys because you all are as tone deaf as this guy is. <laughs> it was so honest, man. I, it made me laugh. It was a great comment. And I'm I'm not saying this to be salty at all. I I genuinely think it was hilarious. Wow. Okay, four of these on you. It hurts a little bit. A little bit hurting. Base comment, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it was funny. Made me laugh. How far are we from Black Opal? We are very far from Black Opal. What is this vault? This is a. Um, it's called uh, Sing to You Every Vault When. It's called Sings to You Every Vault When. Uh, we can do. We we do some singing in front though. Whenever it's whenever it's appropriate. I really like that. Everybody loves the things you do. See, I, I would like to call myself a comedic singer. Like I, I, I did that I did that bit with Jones, of course, for comedy, right? It's a comedic to me. To me it was very comedic. You guys know what I mean? 
I'm not sitting here thinking that I'm Adele. I'm not about to go out on a stage at, and sing unless it's for comedy. I'll do it for comedy. I'll do it for, for like a charity event for fun. But other than that, I don't really care about it. You sing for fun, not for money. I mean, I don't think every singer necessarily that's a professional singer thinks about it from a monetary uh, um, side. Yeah, in fact, I think that many artists uh, or performers or... I hate the word influencer. When you guys think of me, do you think of me... Do you think that I'm an influencer? Is that is that how you label me? Or do you label me much more based with the slightly easier to remember bald man? No? Okay. Why is that? Do you label other streamers as influencers? Or what, what do you label people as? Content creator is what you label me as? Okay, I hate that too. I, I know that's the definition. I hate it though. Like, I, I'm... Because that implies... Like, I think content creators are these people that go on, on TikTok and YouTube shorts and dance in front of the camera. And then they have text on the screen that has nothing to do with their dance. Why are there so many of those? Why are there so many, hear me out, that start dancing in front of the camera and then it's like, when I was 17, dance, dance, dance. I learned how to ride the bicycle, dance, dance, dance. Therefore, you can learn to ride the bicycle, dance, dance, dance. When you're 17, dance, dance, dance. Hashtag motivational. That's a content creator for me. Like, <laughs> what? What, what what is that? We're old, Iskal. We don't get it either. No, 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 no. We're not old. We're too young to be old. Okay. If you're my age, if you're my age, we are too young to get old. Truth. This is the truth. We are too young to get old. Yet, so far. Some of us are a bit old, though, Iskal. No, no. No, I, I won't have it. You're only old when you decide that you're old. 30s is old to me. Well, that's funny because the prime of a human being is, is between 30 and 50. Pretty sure, if you look historically. You're wise enough to not be an idiot. But you're dumb enough to still be an idiot. Yeah, that's that's a quote. There it is. Man, I'm smart. <laughs> what the hell did I just say? I've been called old and I'm 24, so that's kind of crazy. No, it depends on the context, dude. Like, if you're comparing to uh, to children, you're old. Yeah, I called uh, I called one of my best friends old when he turned 23 and I was 19. I remember it very very vibrantly. I just laughed at him and said, you're 23, man? Yeah. No, it's a contextual thing. But it's a contextual thing also when you're older. Like, I'm 38. I don't feel any different than what I did when I was 22. 